Welcome to Let's Get To Unboxed. Now your host, James Christopher. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Let's Get To Unboxed. This was supposed to purely be an off-season show, which is why we had our finale. I had been kind of completed my run of ordering things and having things come to the house as I was getting ready to go on the trip. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but stuff has happened and baseball's not happening right now, which means no trips, no new gear. And I decided that basically as I saw some of the sales that happened with the at-home opener for the MILB and through, through, through course of some other things, I ended up getting some more stuff and wanted to do, kind of bring these videos back to shine a light on some of these brands in minor league baseball, but also really to, again, the people that are fans of the show that are fans of minor league baseball, I just wanted you all to know from the Let's Get To team that we're thinking of everybody out there that our thoughts and prayers go to everybody that is affected by this virus, which is everybody. And there is no one that has is escaping the touch of it. We all hope for lots of reasons that this thing passes quickly and smartly and that we're able to kind of get back to our own normal life at some point. And I do think we will get back there. And I also can't help but notice or at least be aware of the fact that these MILB teams are doing so much for their communities. They are doing things to distract the kids. And if, I, look, I'm not a parent of a small child. My daughter is a parent now of two of my grandkids. And I know they have been coloring some MILB coloring sheets, anything she can do to keep things focus as they're all stuck in one place so but I also hope that people remember that these teams are all small businesses and that's they're rooted in their communities but they're gonna need our help when they come back and so um, I kind of wanted to crank up the unboxing things to shine a light on some of these teams that are really gonna need us and one of the rules is until the regular season does come back is that we're pretty much going to focus the vast majority of these new unboxing and the new gear as I get it on the short season A teams, the, the, the low A, the high A teams, the teams that are really super community focused but really need our support. And the first one we're gonna look at is the Tri-City Dust Devils. But before we do that, as we always talk about, it's who we're wearing time. And I wanna do a shout out to the Peoria Chiefs they are on my schedule to get out there. I am holding out hope that we still have, that we will have baseball at the end of June into July. So they are high on my list, ran by some great people. So shout out to the Peoria Chiefs. And then of course, this is the sweetest sweatshirt ever. My Corpus Christi hooks, their faux back, which to be honest, should be their regular back look. So the Tri-City Dust Devils. Um, and this is a great opportunity to remind you to follow Eric the Peanut Guy. Had the pleasure of having Eric on our show, and I'll put the link to his episode in the description of this. Eric is about as nice as it gets, about as good as it gets, and is about as good an ambassador for this game, for minor league baseball, as there is. When he is not running the, the in-game program stuff for the Dust Devils, he's actually taking trips to go see other minor league teams. And that is the kind of person, in a world completely that is obsessed with self-promotion, oops, <laughs> but seriously, uh, so obsessed with self-promotion for doing things simply because they want a short-term game gain. Guys like Eric are the guys we should celebrate. So uh, follow Eric on Twitter and just, again, one of the nicest, best guys that I've met doing this. So without further ado, Oh, sweet. So we have the Tri-City in-game ball cap. Oh, nice. So I don't get to teach from school right now like everybody else, but when I do, I like to wear my polos when I'm in class. So I love the Tri-City Dust Devils polo. So uh, good stuff, find them online. And we will be back periodically as we come up with more stuff, as we get more gear in the mail. I'm gonna be working on getting some more Copa stuff for Cinco de Mayo, so we'll be we'll be bring, we'll be doing a special Cinco de Mayo episode of this. So until then, until next time, stay safe, uh, stay isolated, 
you know, stay, you know, stay social distancing, all that fun stuff. We will be back better than ever. Um, we'll just need to help each other through this. So until next time, let's get to.